There are 26 letters in the alphabet, each one with a different name. And all 26 letters of the alphabet come in different sizes and shapes. And when the letters come together, it makes it even better, cause one thing is for sure. All the letters come together to make something better, like words and so much more. Sing it with me now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, that's the alphabet symphony. Hey guys, Mrs. Wathen. It's Mrs. Carpenter here. And today our letter, ready, ready, letter N. N. Woohoo! Okay, let's learn how to make the capital and lowercase n, uppercase and lowercase. Uppercase N goes down, then you go slant down and up. And then a lowercase n is down, up, over, down. That is the upper and lower case N. Later today you're going to get a chance to watch videos and practice. Okay guys, we're going to make the letter N with our mouth. So you're going to put your tongue behind your big teeth right in the front. Mm. You do it. Mm. Very good. You made the letter N. Now we're going to do it with the hand. Two fingers up. And we're gonna make one hump from our mouth. We're gonna bring it to your mouth and make a hump with the two fingers. Mm. Mm. One more time. Mm. Mm. Very good. Let's practice with some words. How about night? You say it. Night. Nice. Nice. Nut. Nut. Nose. Nose. Name. Name. I, I hear somebody coming. <gasps> it's Nurse Nick. Hey, Nurse guys. Nick is here to help us. Okay, so he's going to help us with our ending sound. All right, Nurse Nick, let me get you situated. Okay, here we go. How about fun? Fun. Phone. Phone. Rain. Rain. Spoon. Spoon. And queen. Queen. Good job, Nurse Nick. He was listening for the n at the end of the word. Good job. Okay, guys. So you have seen what the n looks like. You have heard what the n looks like. And so all day today, you're going to be looking and listening for the letter N. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Let's learn how to make the uppercase N. The uppercase N has a down motion, a slant down motion, and an up motion. So it goes down, slant down, up, down, slant down, up, down, slant down, up. Let's try some smaller ones. Down, go to the top, slant down and up, down, go to the top, slant down and up, down, slant down and up, down, slant down and up. Let's try some on our own. Down, go to the top, slant down and back up to the top. Down, slant down and up. Down, slant down and up. Down, slant down and up. Let's talk about some things that might go wrong when you're making the letter N. Something that might go wrong is that you 
Go the wrong direction with your slant. That makes your end backwards. The other thing would be is if you go from the bottom. That's not how we want to do it. We need to start at the top and go down. Okay. If you make more than one extra motion, then that's a different letter. So it's just three strokes down, slant down, up. And if you don't slant, it's going to be pretty narrow, and you're not always going to be able to tell what letter that is. So it needs to be slanting away from the other line and then back up. There needs to be a gap in between both of those. Okay? This might take a little practice, but you can get it. This is how you make the uppercase N. Let's learn how to make the lowercase n. Let's look at the uppercase n so you can see the difference between the two. Okay? I'm going to move my camera just a minute here. Let me get you a little more space. Okay. The uppercase n is made only of straight lines a line down, a straight slant line, and then a straight line up. The lowercase n has a small down line and then it has a curved line, okay? So this one has a curve, this one does not. So let's learn how to make this lowercase n. Alright, once again you start at the midline. You go down, up, over, okay? Down, up and over, down, up, over, down, up, over. Let's make the smaller ones. Down, up, over, down, up, over, down, up, over, down, up, over. Let's try making some on our own. They get you going on the midline here. Down, up, over. Down, up, over. Down, up, over. Down, up, over. All right, this motion is very similar to the letter that we learned earlier, the letter R. We went down, up, curve, and we stopped. This one we're going all the way over to the baseline again. If you don't go far enough, it might look like an R, okay? So it's got to go all the way back over and down to the bottom, okay? We don't want it too small. We don't want the line too tall because that's going to look like the letter H has to start at the midline. Your hump has to go back up to the midline because like I said, if you if you start here and you just barely give it a hump, that's going to be an H. Okay? So, it's got to go back up to the midline and back down. So, this one's kind of tricky. It could look like an R or it could look like an N or it could look like an H. So, let's try it one more time down, up to the midline, back down to the baseline. Okay? That's what we're working on. This one again, we might get pretty picky with you, but it's for us to be able to read what you write and not think that you meant to say hat when you meant to say rat. Okay? So we gotta make sure we get our letters looking the right direction and the right going the right direction and looking the right way. Alright, this is the lowercase n.